Across the country, innovative energy technologies are offering opportunities for growth. East Tennessee has been shaping the future of energy for decades, and now Knoxville and Oak Ridge may become the birthplace of a new energy revolution, fusion. Tennessee's advanced energy economy is incredibly robust. It includes about 22,000 businesses. It employs over 420,000 Tennesseans and contributes about $56 billion to the state's GDP. Tennessee is home to the Department of Energy's largest science and energy lab, the nation's largest public power provider, and the state's flagship land-grant university campus, all within 30 miles of each other. And they're fueling business growth, development, and innovation. Fusion has been a big part of Oak Ridge since the 70s. Over the last decade or so, we've seen a, a rapid evolution in the landscape for fusion with the private sector growth and investment in the private sector growing rapidly. Uh, and so the mission, the, the focus of the program at Oak Ridge has evolved to, um, to, to support that. I mean, our ultimate goal is to commercialize fusion and create a U.S. fusion industry. Before, Knoxville was very much a college town built around the University of Tennessee my alma mater. I'm proud of that every day. Knoxville has really grown out from being a college town to being a small big city and you still get to know your neighbors but now you have more things to go do together. You couldn't pick a more ideal place to start a, a fusion revolution than here in Oak Ridge because we have <laughs> we have the people, we have the facilities. The electrification of rural Tennessee is difficult in a lot of ways. Fusion provides an opportunity for that. Not only is it going to be the abundance of power that's available to make lives better here in East Tennessee, and also it's gonna be local talent that builds it. We're using local talent to design it. And ultimately we're going to have people taking care of that facility to take care of their communities. When you bring energy abundance and you bring cheaper energy and energy independence to an area, you attract all sorts of investments that will in inevitably improve the lives of Tennesseans. We are working to start the early education on, on fusion. So the way that we get the word out about fusion is through the community. And one of the best ways of doing that is opening what a potential career path could be early on. As it becomes an emerging technology and it's becoming more popular to teach in schools, students are just becoming more interested in getting involved and learning more about fusion. As we look to commercialize, we still need people that are really pushing the envelope on the science and the engineering. You need all hands on tech to make fusion work. So you need a lot of people that know how to build stuff. So welders, you know, people that, that actually can assemble the devices. We need people that work in spaces outside of technical areas. We need lawyers, communicators, uh, you know, people that know how to run companies. You can have your PhD and be a researcher and entrepreneur. You can also have certification from community colleges or apprenticeships with labor unions and do the hard work of building these facilities. Recently, the smokestacks were dropped at the Bull Run Steam Plant. It was very nostalgic for me, but knowing that uh, it is kind of a transition into fusion uh, coming in and uh, kind of being the next uh, generation, I'm, I'm very happy to see all of that happening. With the high demand for electricity, creating a fusion device is a fantastic way to, to look forward to the future. If I can contribute just a little bit to make fusion a reality, then that's a win for me. I grew up in Madisonville, Kentucky. I played football in the, in the fourth grade and our team names were named after the local coal mines. And I think that's a really representative example of what coal meant to that town, what it meant to the people there. Coal and the energy source, but also the main employment source, was what really tied the community together. And that can be the same thing with Fusion. We have the opportunity here to build that same culture and to build that same sort of community around where we get our energy and, and how we employ our people. It's truly going to be revolutionary. What we're doing here can become a model for the way things could be done across our nation and then maybe across the world. As a native born and raised in Knoxville, it's been so cool to grow up and see these projects literally in my own backyard. Conserving the beauty of East Tennessee, the Smoky Mountains and the Appalachian region, it really hinges on clean energy and that production, keeping our airways and our waterways clean. Bringing fusion 
out of research and being able to put it on the grid is the future of life here in East Tennessee and the ability for people to breathe clean air every day. East Tennessee's story is one of many. Communities across the U.S. are harnessing clean energy technologies to build new workforces, attract investment and talent, and invigorate their local economies.